good day, good people. It is Vlogtober day nine. Day nine. Listen, I'm hungry. The hubby went out to eat. I don't got the patience for people today. So I'm in the house. I babysat all day. The cuteness that is my G baby was here. She don't sleep. She eats, poops, repeats. She don't sleep. She's been up since she was dropped off at 6.30 a.m. She may have slept a total of 20 minutes the whole day. Huh? She couldn't do nothing. She, that's me. So, today we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> Y'all see what time it is? 7.25. It's about the time I'm eating. So today I got two burgers and some bacon. Yeah, put it in the air fryer together. We ain't got time to be trying to separate and cook this and do that. We're going to do it all at the same time and get it done. In about 10 minutes, I'm going to take the bacon out. Let the burgers continue. Okay? In the microwave, cauliflower florets. I'm about to make some cauliflower mac. So simple. I'm going to put on some heavy whipping cream, throw a little Velveeta cheese in there with some butter, because butter make it better. Mm -hmm. A little salt and pepper. I'm going to pour it on top of the cauliflower, put it in the oven, boom, cauliflower mac. I'll be back in a moment. I'm back real quick. Carrot gold butter, heavy whipping cream. Like four ounces of Velveeta cheese. Look, I know it don't look the best, but it's gonna be the bomb on this cauliflower, okay? So, I told y'all, y'all know I do not measure some butter. So the cheese doesn't stink. Grab the cheese, shake up the little whipping cream, pour it in there. Put the eye down to medium. No heavy whipping cream. Y'all didn't hear that. I'm gonna cut the cheese into blocks and throw it in there so it can melt a little quicker. butter in there so that it doesn't stick to the bottom. Some people use olive oil but I'm going to put butter in there because like I said, butter makes it better. Put just a little more butter in there. Just about it. A little salt. A little pepper. My cauliflower is frozen. So, I already cooked it in the microwave on what, six minutes, five minutes, one of the two. Then you pour off all the water off the cauliflower, squeeze it so you can get all the water out of it because for some strange reason, cauliflower like produces a whole lot of water. Like, you don't use their be the cheese to make macaroni and cheese, you use cheddar. Cheddar's what you use. But I don't like cheddar, so I'm using what I want to use. So I'm gonna have a burger with bacon and cauliflower mac. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and preset my oven to, to 375, cause why? That's what I want to cook on. Cook everything on 375. It's an inside joke for my family. We cook everything on 375. But 
just cook it until the, until the cheese melts. I'm just going to cut the eye off because it's hot enough to melt the rest of the cheese. And that's it. Look at that. That's it. Mix, I'm just going to dump the cauliflower over in there. Oh. That's it. Stir. Make sure all of it gets covered. You see that? Make sure it gets covered. A little. I'm going to let it cook on the stove for just a little bit. Then I'm going to put it in the oven. Put it on the um, eye for just on low. Just a little. Then put it in the oven so it can get like a little crisp on it. And that's it. So my bacon, it got like one more minute on it. I've already sprayed my pan with some avocado oil. Just pour it in here. I don't want to use this bowl. Use a spatula. Because you don't want to scrape up your good pan with no spoon. Because you want all the cheese. You hear me? could top it with some more cheese if you want but I'm probably not going to that's it. The bacon is done. Burgers. They almost done. I flipped them once and I'm gonna flip them again and they should be done. I set it for 370 um for 20 minutes. So I am done with my burgers. You see them? And my bacon. I'm about to throw my cheese on top of it because for some strange reason when you put the cheese on it while it's inside of the air fryer, child, the cheese slide off. <laughs> I don't know why it does that, but you know, it does it. So I'm just going to place the cheese on top while I'm doing it and show y'all. There's the cheese on top. My bacon. Mm-hmm. The Kobe Mac is... Yeah. That was real close. I am so sorry. I got a real up close and personal view of me. <laughs> Anywho, the Kobe Mac is in the oven. Oh, I did put some bacon on top because why not? This is how it's looking in the oven. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Listen, that deserved a good old, you know, Baptist. Mm -hmm. Did y'all feel that? I felt that. <laughs> Who ain't finna throw down? She is. And I'm probably gonna have zero sugar cokes. Uh-huh. I said it. Zero sugar coke. Uh-huh. And some good old Dominican rum. Ooh, let me show y'all what the Dominican rum look like. Because I always be talking about it, but I, don't, I ain't never showing my baby. So, <clears throat> When we went to Punta Cana, they gave us a bottle of this every night for free in the room we stayed in every night. But I ain't know no better. I was giving my bottle away. I did bring two back home with me. Listen, worst mistake ever I ever have made was give my liquor away. But now I found it. They sell it in the States. Jesus, y'all see it? Get the name of it. Uh-huh. Get you some. Ain't nothing. Like some Dominican rum. I said what I said. Believe it. Right, so I'm back. And the mac and cheese or cauliflower mac is done. And I want y'all to see what time it is. It's 7.54. We started at 7.25. It's about 29 minutes. I'm just going to go on say 30 minutes to cook a full meal for oneself. Mm -hmm. It could have been a family meal. It still would have took 30 minutes. Listen, this is the cauliflower mac. Y'all can't get the full appreciation of it on this side of the camera. So, I'm going to flip it so you can see it. Hold on. Do y'all see that? That look like macaroni and cheese. Don't that look good? Don't that look good? Y'all see that? Y'all see that? <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm finna throw down. I'm probably gonna hurt myself. Cause it's gonna be that good. 
recipe so simple and it's so good it's a great alternative to pasta it's a great alternative to macaroni and cheese and it's so quick 30 minutes it took me 30 minutes to prepare a full meal for myself burger bacon on top cauliflower mac and i'm gonna have a, a cocktail who ain't winning listen like comment subscribe share Thank you for coming back to Vlogtober day number nine. I'll be back on tomorrow. I'll see you later. Peace.